If you're anything like me, you love a good routine. I am a routine person and a lot of my friends are the same. So when I had my children, I knew I needed to have some kind of structure to our day because the go with the flow, blase nature of parenting my eldest wasn't working for anyone in my family. And today I'm going to talk to you about how and when it is appropriate to establish a sleep routine for your little one. Because I'm answering your sleep question, at what age is it realistically possible to set up a good sleeping routine? So stay tuned if you're interested in learning the ins and outs of establishing a good sleep routine. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Nikki, mother to three beautiful children and one of the founders of Little Ones. Little Ones is a company that we established because we realized that access to reliable, trusted information about infant and toddler sleep wasn't that easy to come by. We have created a set of really comprehensive, scientifically backed online sleep programs to help your little ones right from birth establish and maintain excellent nap and night sleep habits. We would love to help you and your family to better sleep. So please check out our website www.littleones.co for more information. But for now, let's talk about setting up a good sleep routine in your household. So my first piece of advice would be that it's never the right time or the, the best time or the perfect time to do anything when it comes to parenting your baby. The right time is when it is right for you and for your family. And that is really important because I wouldn't want anybody to feel like they had to do anything at any particular stage that they weren't ready or comfortable doing. So if you are really happy in a more of a go with the flow, baby led parenting style, then awesome. And if that's working for you guys, then that is perfect and you probably don't need to watch this video. But if you were like me and maybe um, struggling a bit with a lack of structure or routine to your day, then we can definitely talk about how establishing a routine can help with um, your little one being more settled and you, of course, being more settled and knowing what comes next in your day, which is to some people really important. So that said, <laughs> The best time to set up a routine and is any time, really. It is never too late. I've seen people who have toddlers who have sort of reached their wits end and have come to us and said, okay, enough is enough. We need to get a bit more structure. We need to get a bit more routine in our lives. And I would say to them, fine, let's go. That It's not too late. We have parents of newborns who come to us and say, help, my newborn sleep is all over the place, which is understandable. They are a newborn. And the parents are just wanting a bit more of an idea of what to expect during their day and, and some ways they can help set up some really good sleep habits. And that is also fine. And that is a great time uh, in those newborn months to gently start setting up some really healthy sleep habits to last your baby for months and hopefully years to come. So let's just quickly talk about uh, without knowing the age of your baby, what we should expect in a sleep routine at a couple different ages. So between zero and three months and what we will call a newborn baby, we would be looking to focus a bit less on say specific set nap times per se, and we would be working more off an age appropriate awake sleep structure for your little one. So looking at what is really um, developmentally appropriate in terms of awake windows and then in terms of cumulative day sleep. And that is really all we would base a routine off at this age. So if your little one is in this bracket, your best bet is to educate yourself on what the awake windows should be for a baby of, of your baby's particular age and then aim for, for those awake windows between their naps and then try and get some fairly regular naps happening around those awake windows. And that means not just sort of perhaps letting your baby fall asleep willy-nilly or while they're in the middle of a feed, but rather stretching them out so they get a nice, say, two-hour awake window, and then they're, they're having a nice, decent nap at the end of that period. And when they wake up, they're going into a nice, another two-hour awake window and so on. That's definitely how we start structuring our sleep and nap patterns in our newborn program. It's all off awake times and cumulative 
day sleep hours at that age. If you want to know what the age appropriate awake times are for a baby in this age bracket, then check out our website. We've got diagrams, we've got articles on there all about naps and awake windows uh, and about newborn sleep as well. So that will give you a bit more guidance. Moving on to sort of the three to six, 12 month bracket. In that age, we do start to sort of implement a few more set nap times. So we're also working off an age appropriate awake window. You're not going to keep your four month old baby awake for four hours between naps because they're going to be crazy overtired. So we do still focus on an age appropriate awake window, but we start to, to lock in a few more specific nap times. So that means that if you have your morning nap at uh, 9.30 in the morning and your baby for some reason woke 10-15 minutes earlier in the morning when they woke up, you're still probably going to stretch them to that nap time. You're not going to necessarily focus just on the awake windows. So we start to have more actual consistent nap times in that age bracket. And that is because your baby's circadian rhythm is a lot more mature than in the newborn stages. So we're able to lock in some really good body clock responses. So having a consistent nap time means that your baby's body comes to biologically expect sleep at that time and it will start producing the right hormones and chemicals and doing the right things to get your baby ready for sleep at the time that it regularly has sleep. It's amazing. Our bodies and our body clocks are so amazing. So we work with that after three, four months old when it comes to developing a routine for your little one. What I would also recommend to put into that body clock routine is meals and feeds. So much like how our bodies set sort of like an alarm clock for sleep, it works the same way for feeds as well and for solid meals once your baby is eating solid food. So your baby will start to expect to be fed at a specific time and that's because their body is used to receiving and digesting food at that time and so it starts to get hungry at that time. It is truly amazing. <laughs> so making sure that you are, are sticking to relatively consistent feed times and meal times, as well as relatively consistent sleep times, is really going to help your little one understand the structure of their day. Babies and toddlers, even young children, have no frame of reference when it comes to time. They can't tell the time, they don't understand uh, how long it is really between events in their day. So having the same events in the same pattern and the same time intervals is really, really helpful for our little ones to know what's coming next. And that definitely leads to calmer, more settled babies, toddlers, and children. So if I'm answering your sleep question of when it's best to set up a sleep routine for your little one, anytime, really. But like I said, in those first three months, I will be focusing on getting the awake times right. And beyond that, I would be looking at starting to implement some more consistent nap and feed and meal times that happen at the same, pretty much the same time every day. If you want a hand getting a, a good routine established for your little one, please check out our sleep programs, uh, which are delivered to you through our mobile app. Inside the app, you have the option to receive notifications during the day to tell you when the next event is coming up for your little one, which is pretty cool. So you'll receive a notification saying, George is due for a nap in 10 minutes. George is due for lunch now. George is due for his bath. It really just helps take that guesswork out, helps you get on top of a really good structure for your little one. And of course, all of the schedules in our sleep programs are completely age appropriate, literally down to the exact week of your child's age. So you can't get it wrong. <laughs> We would love to help you. Please check out our website for more information. And I hope this video has helped you today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you again really soon.